All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. You know, I've done a lot of reviews over carbon fiber filaments all the way from PETG to PLA and everything in between, but they've all been Bamboo Lab carbon fiber filaments and I haven't really done any other ones. So our friends over at eSun <clears throat> sent me some of their PLA carbon fiber to uh, check out. So we'll go ahead and do that today and we'll print a Benchy. I've done a whole bunch of calibration videos, so I don't think that we'll do another one of those with this filament today. But I thought what might be interesting and might be useful for you guys out there is to see how this reacts when printing it with the Bamboo Lab ca uh, carbon fiber. So um, in today's video, we'll print a Benchy. We'll see how it prints on generic uh, settings. We'll use one of the cool hologram uh, PEI plates and we'll let it do its little calibration on that and everything. And then we'll do another multicolor print with the uh, Spider-Man coasters and we'll do it with the different carbon fibers. Some, so, uh, you know, some of it from bamboo and some of it from eSun and we'll see how it does with just the standard calibration and see if we have to calibrate it in order to do a multicolor print with different manufacturers of the carbon fiber prints. Um, so I thought that would be cool and that would be useful for us to look at today. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so on my e-box light, I got it set on the third temperature setting and I have it set for four hours. It says to dry the filament for at 40 C for four hours. So we'll put it on the highest setting for four hours and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, here we are on eSun's website for the PLACF and this is the roll that we got. It does have the, uh, cardboard spool and everything um take a look at the introduction so features high strength matte appearance uh carbon fiber frosted texture excellent printability so we'll check that because we're not going to be doing any uh you know tuning or calibration or anything like that and high speed printing which is what the printer does Let's take a look at the parameters in here. We're gonna leave it on the generic settings, but the generic settings are within the extruder temperature and bed temperature as well. So let's take a look at the notes. And here's where it said, you know, 40 C for over four hours, which we're doing that. And we'll go ahead and get it dried and loaded into the AMS. So I will see you when we're getting it loaded. All right, so here we are. All right, so here we are in Bamboo Studio and we have our Benchy in here. You'll see that we have the generic PLA CF selected here. And you'll see that this is well within the uh, guidelines for it. We'll see that the nozzle temperature is at 220, which is well within the guidelines. We'll be using the smooth PEI plate and 55 with, was within the guidelines as well. Um, so this is everything there. You'll see that this is set to 12 for the max volumetric speed and for normal uh, PLA CF from bamboo That's set to 15. It looks like with the bamboo uh, Filament the nozzle temperature is set a little bit higher, but otherwise it is um, You know the same as that I think the flow density flow ratio and density and all of that stuff is different but I'm not going to change any of that we're just going to print it the way it is and see how it turns out let's go ahead and change this to the Lenny setup 
And, you know, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, my setup, the only difference here is I have no support selected and no brim selected here. Otherwise, it's the same as the 0.2 normal setup. So let's go ahead and get this printed on the cool uh, hologram plate and see what that looks like on the bottom of that and see how this carbon fiber filament prints. So let's go ahead and get it sliced. And we'll go ahead and get it printed and we'll let it do its calibration and time lapse and everything. And I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so as you can see, it printed out really good. And the hologram on the bottom is really cool. But as you can see, everything printed out perfectly. If the camera will stop freaking out. <clears throat> so as you can see on the generic settings right away, very easy to print. Um, as I said, um, so, you know, no need to do any super duper calibration. The only calibration that was done was the self calibration um, that it does in the beginning there. So on the generic settings with doing that, it printed out really, really good. Um, so now let's go into Bamboo Studio and let's set up one of our coasters and let's see how it prints with the bamboo carbon fiber as well as the bamboo regular PLA. So I'll meet you back in Bamboo Studio. All right, so here we are in Bamboo Studio. So let's go ahead and quickly um, color this. So when I downloaded this as a 3MF, it went ahead and changed this to the 0.16, left everything else the same. We haven't changed anything on this generic thing. So let's go ahead and make sure this thing has all the colors. So the coaster and the spider need to be black, which is number one, the spider, Man, words need to be number three for white, and then we'll make the face two to make it that red color. So as you can see, it looks just like it did before. So let's select off and then select the whole thing. We'll select lay on face. We'll lay it on that face. And this will be a good test because it'll show the eSun uh, carbon fiber, PLA, the bamboo carbon fiber PLA, and then normal PLA all in one print. So let's go ahead and slice this. And it's going to take a little over the an hour. We'll go ahead and print. We'll leave everything checked here. Double check that it's using the correct filaments. And we'll go ahead and send it to the printer. So it is giving us a warning about the carbon fiber filaments. That's okay. We're fully aware of that. And I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so here's the finished result. And as you can see, the cool little effect on there. And this printed out really, really good. Um, and it blended in with all of the other stuff just like anything else. But I did notice on the back that compared to the original one, it does seem to be a lot smoother feeling than the original one. So I thought that was interesting. Um, so 
my thoughts on the filament itself is it's really, really good. It's e it is very easy to print. So the printability that they claimed was good. It did it on the normal speed, which is pretty high speed. Um, you know, normally for it, it printed on the cool little PEI hologram plate, just fine. It blended in with the other carbon fiber filament as well as the normal PA filament with no issues at all. Um, so I was thoroughly impressed um, with this filament and um, I think it prints just as good if not better than um, the bamboo PLA uh, carbon fiber um, so <clears throat> be sure to get out there and um, get this filament it's really really good and um, <clears throat> I think you'll be thoroughly impressed with it all right and the last thing that I'll leave you with today is um, <clears throat> if you've ever been wondering how to store um, some of these filaments that need to be dry or you don't want them to get um, you know moist or whatever eSun does has have this e-vacuum kit and basically what you do is you put the roll when you're done with it in this ziploc bag it has the little silica or whatever to keep it dry but it also has this little vacuum and you can just vacuum all of the air out of the bag right here and that way it'll keep your filament a lot more dry and you won't have to dry it as often so if you've been looking for a way to store these filaments these kind of engineering filaments carbon fiber abs these ones that you have to dry for a really long time uh, get one of these e-vacuum kit pros and uh, go ahead and store your filament in there and it comes with a ton of bags So you can store a lot of filament out of this one kit and it has this cool little vacuum thing right here. Uh, so be sure you get some of this to store the filament after you're done with it. And that's all we have for today. I hope today's video was useful. Tried to do something a little bit different. <clears throat> I, I will say I'm thoroughly impressed with the carbon fiber PLA filament from eSun. And I'll definitely be getting some more of their engineering type and their specialty type filament for us to take a look at. And be sure to, if you do use a lot of these type of filaments, be sure to get you one of these e-vacuum kit pros and um, make storing them and using them in the future a lot easier. So um, that's it for today's video. Um, hope everybody has a great rest of their weekend and a great week. I'll see everybody next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>